when was the last time you looked at the sky and thought about the minuteness of your existence about what lies out there and how small we are most of you would not be able to remember in our busy lives we somehow lose the inquisitiveness to explore the universe and sometimes this interest is completely lost because it isn't fed properly in our childhood days and this is not something very uncommon in our society let me share a real life experience with you here once i was at my archery ground done with my training i was looking at certain stars using the sky view app on my phone when my coach inquired about it i explained it to him in detail and the response was The app people are making a fool of you. There are no stars beneath us and no app can show you the stars around you. And why do you think this was said? Because there was no knowledge about the resources, technologies and most importantly space. And this is what I want to do through my initiative. Spread awareness about the topic of space. Greetings of the day to all listeners. I'm Surya Chhabra, founder of Antrikshi Khoj, which literally means space exploration. We are a non-profit organization who aim to spread the knowledge of a vast universe to all communities. And why do you think this is important? Because of various reasons. Firstly, Since students don't know much about this field, they tend to go for more mainstream career choices, despite having an interest in astronomy. This is what happened to my father, who had a budding interest in astronomy, but could not take it up as a career due to the lack of knowledge and guidance. This is also important because students might develop an interest in space science after being taught about it this is what happened to me until grade 5 i had no interest in astronomy in fact i found it boring when my friends discussed about it but then in grade 5 a chapter started in my class on astronomy and that became a defining moment for me right here you can see the cover of that book This small introduction gave me something to build my life around. If a little bit of our time and effort can give someone a direction in life, then why not? So we started to conduct sessions in which we gave students a detailed idea about astronomy. To further enhance their interest, we showed them celestial objects like Jupiter and Saturn. to a telescope and also help them spot constellations in the night sky to help them follow up with their interest we distributed books and gave them app references another major reason for start for starting this initiative was to provide astronomical resources there are many amateur astronomers out there who if given the right resources can help mainstream astrophysicists with their work space is an emerging sector and the more help we have the better we'll be able to figure out things for instance in 2019 when chandrayaan 2 the indian space research organization's second lunar mission had a hard landing on the lunar surface the vikram lander's debris was not being found it was an indian amateur astronomer shanmuga subramaniam who found this debris and reported it to nasa similarly there are many more amateur astronomers who give their valuable contributions by finding comets and asteroids using various softwares moreover it's not about education or profession The beauty of space provides people with with the much needed happiness and peace. 
and a belief that the universe is large and then a question are we alone i see in the eyes of even adults glow up by looking at the moon up close i remember in 2017 there was a blue moon in new delhi i had set up my telescope in the grounds of nehru planetarium with other amateur astronomers and there was a long queue of people waiting to peer through my telescope to look at the moon looking at their smiling faces made me realize how the smallest of my initiatives can give people so much happiness and when we talk of experience saturn is something that blows people's minds off there's only one thing that everybody says after looking at it it's just like the pictures in the telescope in the books in fact just getting to know that what they thought was a star is actually a planet in the night sky blows people's minds off now let us analyze the problems which we face in attaining knowledge about space one of the major problems for indian students is hands on learning almost all 12th graders memorize the working of the telescope by heart and score full marks in the five marker question that comes almost every year in the exam but most of them haven't even seen one since there are no resources there is very less amount of research and so providing these resources can definitely go a long way now coming back to the journey of antariksh ki khoj to provide these resources to the masses i started working on a low cost reflector dobsonian telescope which would later help to spread these resources among the masses so let us start with the why a reflector telescope and what is a reflector telescope a reflector telescope is the one which uses mirrors to produce images of objects in space it is of two types dobsonian and newtonian the major difference between these two is the mount the dobsonian telescope has a alt azimuth mount that means that it has to be adjusted both horizontally and vertically in order to set it up on a object in space while a newtonian telescope has a equatorial mount which means that one of its axis of rotation is parallel to the axis of rotation of the earth so it has to be moved only in one dimension in order to set it up which makes the task easier so why did i go for a dobsonian mount that is a alt azimuth mount because this is much much more cheaper than a newtonian one and also it is lightweight and hence easily portable in fact dobson had changed newton's design of the mount because he used to take his telescope out on the streets of san francisco to show the masses the beauty of space now let's come to the dimensions of the telescope I had built an 8 inch telescope which means it was small enough to carry around and also cost effective also it was a f by 5 telescope which means it gave a wider field of view and also a decent amount of magnification throughout the process of building this telescope i was guided by my mentor mr ajit arwar owner of aperture telescopes I wanted to test if people are actually able to operate this telescope efficiently without help. So, in the sessions that we conducted, I started to teach children how to operate this telescope. And I realized that within fifth, just fifteen minutes of teaching, they were able to put it up on the celestial object quickly and efficiently. the process of setting up this telescope is very easy there is a finder placed on the telescope 
in which we can see three concentric circles of laser light. All we need to do is place the center of these three concentric circles on the object that we need to look at. And it's done. See, just like memorizing the theory of the telescope without using one. Here you can see the image of a 10-year-old boy who was quickest in doing this task. Now to end my thoughts on space exploration, allow me to present something that most of you might already know. Astronomy is an ancient science and has been studied by our ancestors since the beginning of time. Even our Vedic texts contain valuable insights on the subject of astronomy. Let me narrate a story here. Once Lord Brahma came to Lord Krishna's Darbar and asked the guards to tell him that Brahma had come to meet him. Lord Krishna's reply surprised Brahma. He asked, which Brahma has come to meet me? A surprised Brahma told the guards, the four-headed Brahma, the father of the four Kumaras. When finally Brahma met Krishna, he asked him, Lord, why did you ask which Brahma? Am I not the only one? To which Krishna replied, There are millions of Brahmas here. And their universes are much, much bigger than yours. Which clearly depicts the concept of multiverse which our astronomers have been studying for so long now. These realizations connect us directly to the universe because they show us how it is directly connected to us. I hope today you will go out and look at the night sky and realize how beautiful it is. Thanks a ton for listening.